Good morning, everybody. Oh, how many triangles you see right here? One, two, three, four. Is that right? Oh, no. I can see more than that. Okay. The left-hand side the top. That's right. A small triangle and bigger triangle. Oh, two triangles, right? Now, oh, it's the one red line, which is a red segment. And the bottom base segment, 7 and X. Oh, looks like we are looking for the length of X. That's it. Also, two arrow signs right here. Okay, that means two segments are parallel. That's right. Okay, let's look at this picture first. Oh, a triangle. That's right. That's similar to the other, uh, all those uh, triangles, right? Okay, right here. Uh, that's right. X and Y. Segment X, segment Y or parallel that's right then oh we can make ratio uh, actually this one is uh, directly proportional that's it that's why we call it. directly proportional proportional means uh, like one goes up like uh, let's say twice the other one goes also twice okay that's directly proportional what about the opposite over that one which is inversely proportional one goes twice that means the other one goes half. Oh, you understand, right? Okay, one goes three times. The other one goes one third of that one. See? So that's inversely proportional. So one given condition, which is X and Y, are parallel. Now, then we can make directly proportional ratio. That's right. Okay, so now think about it. Okay, A. Okay. A to B. Okay, we're talking about side by side. Okay, so A to B equals C to D. Oh, we can make a ratio like that. See? Actually, I should use lowercase on this one. D right there. Oh, that's right. Okay. One common mistake most people make. Oh, that's right. That's why they keep asking you the same question just like this one. So they never ask side by side, okay? Now, A to B, then a lot of people go like this one. X to Y. Oh, no. This one is impossible, okay? That's why you have to be careful on that one. Now, you know why? Okay, so I use the left-hand side. Okay, triangle. Okay, left-hand side of this small triangle, which is A. Then large triangle, okay, left-hand side, which is A plus B not b okay yes okay you can compare side by side not whole triangle okay that means okay left hand side okay of a small triangle to large triangle left hand side that means we gotta go like this one oh a to a plus b equals c to c plus d oh that's right equals x to Okay, so the base to base, see? So X to Y. That's it. Okay, one more given condition right here. Okay, so this one and this one equal. In other words, this one is the midpoint and the right hand side also midpoint. Then, okay, so we go like this one. Okay, the ratio of uh, left hand side. Okay, so 1 to 2. Oh, very simple. See, 1 to 2 equals the right hand side oh one to two remember now one to two so what about the uh, the base okay so which is also this one okay as long as we have parallel segment like this then we can make a ratio oh that's right so x to y also one to two ratio see we are back here okay now the left hand side of this small triangle which is a 4 see so we can make a ratio right so 4 to oh told you everything right here okay which is 6 right so oh that's right so i can make a ratio see 4 to 6 equals oh 7 to x that's it okay 7 to x now always okay if possible you got to reduce right okay this one and this one yes Okay, so half and half, uh, which is just like this one. And cross multiplication. 
okay usually x first okay 2 times x which is 2x so equals 21 so oh then you can reduce divide by 2 divide by 2 both sides that's why x is 21 over so uh, 2 which is what 10.5 or 10 and a half or you can leave just like this okay no big deal so actually x equals 10 and half or 10.5 that's it now oh let's go a little faster right here okay usually i go small triangle first right here okay 3 2 oh this x plus 3 see so 3 2 x plus 3 equals hey 2 to 5 that's it just like this one but i always use cross multiplication x family first okay 2 times x which is 2x then 2 times 3 which is 6 okay so actually plus 6 now 3 times 5 which is that's right 15 that's it now hey this was a plus i move this plus 6 to my right hand side it's gonna be minus 6 <laughs> which is what 9 okay so wait a minute okay left hand side is 2x right hand side is 9 hey x equals 9 divided by 2 which is 4.5 or four and a half that's it see just like that okay what about this one right hand side top that's it very simple very similar 3 2 x plus 3 see so 3 2 oh i mean 3 2 right here okay then x plus 3 equals oh 5 to 7 same thing okay cross multiplication right so 5x plus 15 equals oh 21 right there now you move this one to my right hand side then minus 15 which is 6 right oh then x equals then 6 divided by 5 oh that's it 1.2 right very simple see okay 1.2 or 1 and 1 fifth that's it hey this time i'm gonna use the base first you know why usually i use x first okay so x2 two, 2 oh see just like that x2 two, 2 equals oh, then oh that's right i use the big triangle first that's why 5 oh that's right 5 2 4 that's it now you can reduce 2 and 4 which is 1 and 2 now cross multiplication oh you don't need it so x right there so x equals which is 5 over 2 which is 2 and a half right oh that's it which is 2.5 you know what you're gonna see this kind of question everywhere name it okay sat act or uh, you mean psat like a military entrance test which is an aswap test whatever okay civil service uh, like they always ask this one please practice and watch part two okay in the part two you're gonna enjoy more and more important see oh man fantastic